Saturn V quarterly film report number 15 covers progress during the period June, July, and August 1966. At Launch Complex 39 of the Kennedy Space Center, where assembly and rollout of the Saturn V facilities checkout vehicle was accomplished last quarter, checkout of launch facilities and ground support equipment in connection with the vehicle was in progress throughout the report period. On June 17th, a checkout milestone was reached with manual loading of RP-1 fuel into the vehicle's first stage. The objective was to check out loading equipment prior to testing of the computerized automatic mode, which will be used for flight stages. In mid-July, the mobile service structure, which is used primarily for servicing the Apollo spacecraft, was moved to Pad A for mating tests with pad facilities and then returned to its parking area. Full pressurization tests to operational levels were performed on all of the Saturn vehicle's propellant tanks to verify LC-39's ground pressurization system. Tests were successfully concluded on August 12th. A rupture of Pad A's liquid oxygen feed line between storage tank and replenish pump during a pump chill down on August 19th caused postponement of a scheduled series of loading tests with the cryogenic fuels LOX and liquid hydrogen. An investigation is underway to determine cause of the accident, which is expected to delay the facility's checkout program by about a month. Since the second stage of the facility's checkout vehicle will later be used in the dynamic test vehicle at MSFC, the delay will also affect the DTV program. In first stage ground test operations, the upper assembly of the structural test stage comprising the inner tank, LOX tank, and forward skirt underwent successful structural testing in the Marshall Center's load test tower in late July. Post-firing checkout of the first flight stage, which began last quarter, was completed August 10th. The stage was loaded aboard the barge Poseidon on August 27th for shipment from Marshall to KSC. A single acceptance static firing of the second flight stage was conducted on June 7th in Marshall's static test stand. After refurbishment, post-firing checkout started August 11th with completion due in early November. At Marshall's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans, post-manufacturing checkout of the third flight stage was completed in late August by the stage contractor, the Boeing Company. The stage will be shipped to MSFC next quarter for acceptance static firing. Horizontal installation has been completed by Boeing Michu on the fourth flight stage. Post-manufacturing checkout is in progress. The fifth flight stage is in the process of vertical assembly with completion scheduled for September. Structural assembly of major components for the sixth flight stage and fabrication of components for the seventh and eighth flight stages are also underway. Installation of a second large boring mill at Michu for use in Saturn fabrication work was accomplished in June. Obtained from the Watertown, Massachusetts arsenal for the cost of dismantling, shipping, and reassembling, the boring mill has the capability of handling a 40-foot diameter workpiece. Repairs to S2 stage static test stand number A2 at Marshall's Mississippi Test Facility were completed in early August. The stand had been damaged May 28th when the S2 all system stage was destroyed due to overpressurization of the liquid hydrogen tank during a leak check test. Program impact was minimized due to expeditious handling of required repairs. Systems checkout of the initial flight stage was completed on July 16th by the S-2 contractor, the Space and Information Systems Division of North American Aviation at its Seal Beach, California facility. Official turnover of the stage to NASA was on July 27th, and the stage was shipped three days later aboard the transport Point Barrow, bound for MTF for acceptance firing there. The first flight stage arrived on August 12th at the Michoud facility in New Orleans, 
where it was transferred to a barge for the short trip to MTF. The stage was offloaded at MTF's S2 Vehicle Service Building the next day. On August 19th, the stage was installed in the A2 test stand and preparations got underway for static firings, of which a minimum of two are scheduled in late September. After post-firing checkout, the stage will be shipped to KSC in November. Meanwhile, at S&ID Seal Beach Manufacturing Facility, systems installation on the second flight stage was completed and systems checkout began on July 23rd. Following completion of checkout in late September, the stage will be shipped to MTF in October. Vertical assembly of the third flight stage was finished in early July. Hydrostatic testing had been completed by late August and systems installation is underway with completion due in October. Vertical assembly of the fourth flight stage started in July and is due to be finished in September. Fabrication and subassembly of structural components for the fifth flight stage are in progress. Static firing of the S-2 battleship test stage was resumed in June at North American's Santa Susana test site. Due to the loss of the all systems stage at MTF, additional firings of the battleship with flight hardware incorporated were deemed necessary to enhance stage maturity. Four full duration firings were conducted during the quarter and firings are scheduled to continue on a minimum sustaining effort basis through December. Post-firing checkout was performed during the report period on the first flight stage, which had been acceptance-fired last quarter at Douglas Aircraft Company's Sacramento, California test site. The stage was shipped to KSC by Super Guppy Aircraft on August 12th. The second flight stage arrived at SACTO on June 1st from DAC's manufacturing facility at Huntington Beach, California. Following installation in beta test stand number one, the stage underwent pre-firing checkout in preparation for its acceptance firing. On July 29th, a successful acceptance firing was conducted. Following data evaluation, the stage was removed from the stand for post-firing checkout in the vertical checkout lab. Turnover to NASA is expected in late September. Factory checkout of the third flight stage began in late July at Huntington Beach with completion due in September and shipment to SACTO in October for acceptance testing. Structural fabrication and assembly is continuing on the fourth and fifth flight stages at Huntington Beach and at DAC's Santa Monica plant. The high force vibration test program was begun in June and continued throughout the quarter at the Thiokol Chemical Corporation's Wasatch Division near Brigham City, Utah. The purpose of the program is to provide information regarding the low frequency sensitivity of major weight carrying structures. Testing is scheduled to be completed next quarter. In June, the two F-1 engines destined for use in the QAL-2 test program later in the quarter came off Rocketdyne's production line at its Canoga Park, California plant. Qual-2 configuration engines are those qualified for manned flight reliability and designed to meet the additional payload requirements of the fourth Saturn V and subsequent vehicles. At a Qual-2 readiness evaluation review held at Rocketdyne in June, it was determined that qualification testing would begin in August at the rocket engine test site at Edwards, California, to prove engine performance and design parameters. The first in the series of firings was held on August 1st. The program is expected to be finished during September. One engine is being used for safety limits testing and the other for duration testing requiring a total of 2,250 seconds firing time. Qual-2 test series for a qualification of the uprated 230,000-pound thrust J-2 engine was initiated by Rocketdyne in early August at its Santa Susana, California test site. Testing will continue next quarter. The series will comprise 30 tests 
totaling 3,750 seconds. An R&D program simulating the formal QAL-2 testing was completed in July with 34 firings performed for a total of 4,335 seconds. At the Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Center at Tullahoma, Tennessee, the first in a series of J-2 engine environmental verification test firings was held on August 27th after successful completion of several months' efforts to overcome all problems of environmental control. The test program is presently planned to extend through June 1967 with an estimated three firings per month, including several altitude restarts of the engine. The huge test cell, largest of its type, can simulate altitude and thermal environment at 125,000 feet, about 25 miles. Tests will duplicate conditions of the J-2 on the ground and during boost, first burn, coast, and second burn. Ground testing of Saturn V instrument units moved into its final phases. Environmental tests on the flight system's IU were completed August 10th at Douglas Aircraft's Huntington Beach facility. The IU was mated to a third stage forward stage simulator and a lunar module thermal simulator for the tests, which simulated orbital thermal vacuum conditions. Testing of the third structural test IU, which was delivered to Marshall by IBM Huntsville in June, got underway in mid-August with completion scheduled early next quarter. Checkout of the first Saturn V flight IU was finished by IBM on August 19th, and the unit was shipped to Kennedy Space Center on August 25th. Structural fabrication and component installation for the second flight IU have been finished by IBM and checkout is in progress with completion due in October. At Marshall's Mississippi Test Facility, construction continued on second stage static test stand number two, designated A1, with brick and mortar work over 80% finished. Direction of steel for the load platform is essentially complete and the engine removal platform has been emplaced. Piping for the water manifolds on the flame deflector is being installed. Installation of conduit and wiring for technical systems is in progress above the seventh floor level. Construction of the stand is scheduled for completion early in 1967 with activation due by the middle of the year. The center pier of the dual position first stage static test stand is structurally complete. Installation of partitions, insulation of water lines, and touch-up painting are in progress. Elements of the ground support equipment have been installed, and checkout in the manual mode is underway. The stand's B1 position made steady progress during the quarter. Fabrication of the mounting ring, support structure, rolling deck, and engine removal platform is underway. The stand's B2 position, the first scheduled for completion, is well advanced. The four hold-down arms and actuators were installed this quarter. The engine removal platform and rolling deck are complete, and finish work on the flame deflector is well underway. Piping for the liquid oxygen system is in progress, and installation of conduit and wiring for technical systems throughout the position is also underway. In summary, June, July, and August 1966 were months of steady achievement along a broad front of activity. Flight stages for the first Saturn V flight vehicle have now all been delivered to KSC, with the exception of the second stage, which is being readied for acceptance firing at MTF. Manufacturing of subsequent flight stages is continuing at the various contractor plants, and ground tests of engines, stages, and instrument units are proceeding satisfactorily.